Hi guys, um, really short video today. Uh, I just want to show you something that's really easy to set up, so it's not going to take me very long. And that's the SkyFi wireless controller for telescope mounts, such as my AZ EQ6. So if we go to the simulation curriculum um, website and look under astronomy and accessories, um, this is the page we get. So we've got a couple of different options here, a couple of wired versions, serial cable, um, which I've already got. Here's the SkyFi 3 USB wireless telescope adapter. So pretty straightforward, that's all you get with it, uh, as I just showed you in the, in the packet. Um, the actual unit itself um, has just one button with three lights on, charging and data. And uh, yeah, on the bottom of it you have the serial connection the charging port and you have a USB port as well. So in the box we have the actual um, SkyFi unit and a power supply. Um, it came with a US power supply but it's a simple um, micro USB so easy to charge from um, just about any charger really. So once it's charged up you can switch it on and you get a single red light on there. Uh, before we can get everything moving we need to connect it up. So what I have here is a uh, telescope lead, which has got a serial plug on one end and a little RJ, RJ45. And that basically works with the SynScan controller that comes with the mount. Um, so in this case, what I do is plug in the hand control into the port. And in this end, we have the uh, RJ40, RJ45 going in there. And uh, then we'll just leave that down there, like so. And actually what I'll do is then just plug in the serial into the serial port on the bottom of the unit. Let's do it up tight. And then it can just sit somewhere convenient on the mount itself, like so. Okay, now we switch on. What we need to do first of all, before we can use the remote telescope control, is set the telescope up as normal. So that means leveling the tripod, polar aligning, balancing the scope, mounting the scope up, um, obviously the counterweights as well, uh, and even doing a star alignment, so a one, two, or a three star alignment. So let's assume that the telescope's fully set up now. And what comes next? Okay, so the first thing we have to do on Sky Safari is to go to the settings menu and uh, under, if we move down here, we've got telescope and setup and it's already set for me on Skywatcher SynScan but as you can see there are lots of different um, telescopes that you can set up including Celestron, Orion, Mead and so on. So we click on done and uh, actually I should have clicked back because the other thing you have to do is all to also to set the mount type and in this case I've got an equatorial go to so it's set on that. So we plug it all in and turn the unit on and before we open that what we need to do is to connect the iPad I'll show you this in more details but we connect it to the uh, SkyFi which is a wireless network Okay, so once it's connected, you then start Sky Safari, in this case 5 Plus. Now if I go to scope down the bottom here, um, you can see I get a connect button. So if I connect, and it takes me to where it thinks the scope is, or at least in the demo interface. Um, so I could now move around the sky using these four buttons which have been put on the screen or indeed I can still move around on the iPad and zoom in and out now let's choose Capella always a good target with the kids and then I can click on go to and what you see is the circle with the 9x50 reticule moving directly over to Capella in the night sky uh, actually on the telescope it works slightly differently, um, it will actually use 
backlash compensation um, movement. In other words, it will go past the object and then come back to it in using the, the same as the up and right buttons on the controller as well. So it's a good good thing really. Uh, but it's as simple as that. So um, yeah, um, not much else to say really. It's so easy to use and uh, it's great to be able to set up an observing list. I go to search and then go down to the bottom and uh, yeah, let's go messy marathon and uh, let's take um, yeah the Andromeda Galaxy and center the object shows me where it is in the sky and then all I have to do is press go to and the telescope will actually track across to the object really sweet if I choose a different one so for instance if I just wanted to move across to uh, one of the other stars um, same thing.